Now we're going to have a look at the effect of imposing a minimum wage on the real wage and employment. So let's remind ourselves of what the case is when there is not a minimum wage to worry about. We've got supply for labour and demand for labour and where they meet in the middle you've got equilibrium. So the level of employment is set there and so too is the real wage. Now maybe that real wage is not quite high enough. With such an amount of money maybe people can't quite afford your basic standard of living and so the government can step in and say we're not going to allow this, you know, employers, you're exploiting people with such low wages, we're going to put in a minimum wage so that people can afford a basic standard of living. Now what effects does this end up having? Obviously the effect on the real wage is obvious, it increases from that level up to that one, you know, up to the minimum wage. So this is evidently a good thing for those people who are working, they now have greater purchasing power and can hopefully have a higher standard of living. But what effect does it end up having on employment? Previously employment was here, but once we impose that minimum wage, there is a shortage of demand at this wage compared to the supply. So employment ends up getting capped here because you can't